Hey guys, real quick, I'm gonna go over our front push kick. So, the way I usually like to teach it is from our standard, basic, very generic fighting stance. Um, hands up, slightly forward leaning. You bring your knee up, the back leg. Put the bottom of the foot, like the balls of your feet, against the target, and you push through it, like that. Super simple, super basic, maybe the easiest kick we do. One of them, for sure. So one more time, just like that, and block. So some things we don't want to see is, uh, first of all, of course, bad form, bad stance. Um, second, I don't want to see leaning back and bad balance, stuff like that. Um, if anything, we want to lean slightly forward into it. Again, maintaining good balance, good foundation. Another thing, this is a lot like a teep. However, one of the main differences, uh, most teeps will have you dropping your hand. So, um, if you do the other side, we'll drop that hand typically. But here, for ours, slightly different. I prefer to keep the hands up. So, again, make sure you're balanced throughout. Um, the front foot, uh, you want to turn slightly as you push through. Um, also, it's not a side kick, so we're not pointing our toes that way or that way, keeping our toes oriented upwards, like that, and then we push through. Um, that's another thing I don't want to see, is I don't want to see people imagining their target ends right there, like that, makes it a really weak, flimsy kick. You want to kick through it, like that. Another mistake, common mistake we don't want to see is being either too close or too far. Uh, that might take a little bit of experimentation, playing around with that. You'll see a lot of people kind of reaching too far and they don't get a good kick. Um, or they'll get in too close and then if this were an actual person, they'd probably be grabbing you or slapping you in the face or something like that. So we want to find that ideal range where they probably can't just reach out and grab us or slap us or anything like that. So like from here, where you can still get in a good, powerful kick, okay? So one more uh, cue, one more tip, is use your hips. So you don't want to just kick with your leg like that. It's not just a kick. Your hip chambers, or your kick chambers through the hip and really pushes through. I think I just killed the blue meanie. <laughs> now, personally, I think things get a little more interesting, a little more fun when we start kicking with the lead foot. Now, when we kick with the lead foot, we need to do a little switch with the feet. Um, what a lot of people will do is kind of scoot and kick. I prefer the hop. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages, pros and cons, but in general, I prefer a little hop. It's a little, wow. little bit quicker, easier to cover more ground. It does leave you off the ground for a sec, which if you get, uh, it's a little bit compromising, but uh, I still prefer it. I've preferred the, the speed and um, the distance. And you can still go pretty fast and cover some distance this way, but it's just a little quicker to do the switch. So, the way you do that is as this knee comes up, this foot goes where the lead foot is, like that. So it should be pretty quick. You can practice a little slowly, but ultimately you want it to be pretty quick. And then just like the other kick, you push through it, the other, the other foot rather, you push through it. And um, with this, I usually like to tell, have my um, students kick higher like around here if they can, like torso, stomach level. However, of course, uh, 
realistically, pragmatically, practically, uh, you could also kick lower, um, like more for the shin or the knee or the thigh as opposed to the, the hip, groin or stomach. They're all valid targets. But if generally, if you can kick higher, <laughs> you can kick lower too. Not necessarily all the way, always the other way around. Um, however, if you kick too high, it becomes a different kick. Um, becomes more of a heel thrust in a sense. Um, and then it's a little bit more advanced. I'm not as big of a fan. Um, and uh, easier to lose balance. So I typically will only teach um, the front push kick. Again, similar to a teep, but not dropping the hands. Whoa! So it's a very fast, very quick, very effective, very powerful kick, and therefore one of my favorites. It's also very basic, very simple, very easy. Uh, I feel it's especially effective using the lead leg. It can be again, pretty quick. Um, back leg is fine too. I'm not as big of a fan, but it's a lot simpler, a lot more basic, a lot easier to teach back leg. And then, of course, you can start to mess around with throwing in some hops and jumps and stuff. Um, to me, it's just kind of uh, extra flavor, not as opposed to like effectiveness, you know, stuff like that. Um, you might be able to sometimes utilize that little hop to get a little bit more power, but Either way, it's pretty effective, pretty strong kick. And um, yeah, one of my favorites. So I would mess around with it. You don't need Blue Meanie, a target dummy. Of course, you could just practice it uh, in the air and stuff. Um, I might not recommend practicing on your friends, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun kick. Try not to overthink it. It's a pretty simple, pretty basic kick. Play around with it, experiment, have fun, and yeah, later.